Hello and welcome to Kane TV's senior year. My name is Brad Scott, and I will be your host for this amazing show. To tell you a little bit about me, I'm a communication major with a focus on media and film. Not only am I a member in training for the National Society of Leadership and Success, I am also doing the show Hump Day Escape on Cougar Radio, which you can tune into every Wednesday at noon. Our goal for this show is to enlighten and entertain you guys of how brilliant and talented Kane students are. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoy the show. And now for our news segment. This has been one hectic week for those who follow politics. The Democrats have finally launched an impeachment inquiry for the Donald, leaving us all wondering if this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. For those who don't know what's going on, President Trump asked Ukraine to find some dirt on presidential candidate and man for who some reason reminds me of my grandpa, Joe Biden. It's kind of funny. During the 2016 election, Trump consistently claimed that there was no collusion with Russia, constantly claiming that it was a witch hunt only in 2019 to turn around and collude with Ukraine. <laughs> it's easy to hope that Trump will finally be removed from office, but being realistic, it's not gonna happen. In order for this inquiry to become the real deal, it will have to go through the Senate, and if I had a dollar for every time the Senate vetoed something, I'd probably have enough money to own my own Trump Tower. On to local news. This weekend, casinos lost power due to a lightning storm near Atlantic City. The storm happened around 1 a.m., leaving the 9,400 victims stranded without their slot machines. Also, in local news, there was a 70 mile per hour downburst up by Cherry Hill. NJ.com said that the rain poured so hard that it split trees, literally. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but you can imagine being outside in the middle of that. It's crazy. Meanwhile, at Kane University, I'm sure that all of us at some point have either talked about or heard Dr. Farahi is stepping down as Kane University's president. And that is something that none of us saw coming. Dr. Farahi has done a lot for Kane, always focusing on the students as well as Kane's infrastructure. But more importantly, he has blessed us with a fruit bowl on campus. What's that? Uh-huh. fruit bowls went out of business. Okay, I see. Well, thank you, Dr. Farahi, for installing that new game room in Cougar Hall. Stay tuned for one of our many talents this season. Hi, I'm Joe, and I did the uh, theme song for this show, uh, and I'm going to play a uh, shorter version of it right now. <clears throat> Excellent. Thanks for blessing up with us with your harmonies, Joe. Mm -hmm. So, tell me, what was the inspiration behind this song? Well, when we were planning the show, uh, we were trying to decide if we needed like an intro or anything. And I was like, I could do an intro. I make music. I can play instruments sometimes. And everyone's just like, sure, Joe, cool. And so I made it. And they're like, that's actually pretty cool. And I'm like, that's well, what's up. You are a man of many talents. So tell me, what instruments did you choose to play? And why um, did you choose to play them? In the scroll version, uh, I used an electric guitar, not the one I'm using right now. I'm borrowing one of our producers' uh, tendons guitar. And I also used this kazoo. Uh, and then for the beat, I uh, just used a cajon. Mm -hmm. And this is a song for the intro, but is there a deeper meaning behind this song? No. No. Well, thank you anyway for coming by, Joe. It's been a pleasure. No problem. 
Hello Kane TV, my name is Taha and welcome to Taha on the Street. One thing you guys should know about me before we get started is that I'm a magician. Even when there's nobody on campus, I can make my guests appear. Don't believe me? Watch this. Whoa! whoa. whoa. Oh, hey man! That was incredible. What, what's your name bro? Andrew, nice to Andrew. meet you. Andrew, my name is Taha, it's nice to meet oh, you. Oh wow, nice all to right. meet you man. Alright, let's start off by banging it out, alright? Let's start off, what's your major? Uh, my major is communications, communications. media, and film. Media and film? Me too! Wow, that's incredible. Me too, man. Okay, how old are you? 22 years old. 22 years old. What are you? Senior, sophomore, whatever. Uh, this is my senior year, so I'm Senior year. What's your expectations for your senior year? Um, I think it should be going pretty easy, but I'm also taking senior seminar, and that class is pretty hard, so um, we'll see how it me, goes, because I'm doing the same thing. I'm supposed to be doing that. All right, uh, uh, all right. Just like how I appeared you, I'm going to make you disappear, all right? I don't know where you came from. I don't know where you teleported from, me but, neither. uh, huh? Me neither. All right, uh, just, just hold on. All right, ready? You got to disappear. Ready? One, two, three. He's gone. Uh, thank you, KTV. It's been real. This is Taha on the Street. See you guys later. Welcome back. Today in the studio, I'm sitting down with Beba, asking her some questions about her role at Kane TV. So, Beba, tell me, what is your role at Kane TV? So, I am a member and also the president of Kane TV here at Kane University. All right, excellent. And what are some upcoming shows that you've been working on for the season? So, the, actually, the show that you're watching right now. And also, we have several shows coming from our production classes here at Kane. Mm -hmm. And then we have a hot noodle show. Mm -hmm. We have a show by Chris Benya, mm -hmm. which is like a ranty kind of show. It's very mm -hmm. funny. Um, we also have a Kane React show coming up. Interesting. And what's going what's gonna to happen on that Kane React show? So, Kane Reacts is kind of going to be like a Fine Bros spinoff idea mm. and basically students are going to be watching a video and reacting to it. Mm. Very simple. So obviously you play a pretty important part here at Kane TV. <laughs> how, does this, how does this club help you prepare for what you want to do after college? Good question. I think it's preparing me because I need to learn how to communicate with people mm -hmm. um, because it's very important in making TV shows, making movies, you need to work with other people. And as president people come to you with questions and you just, all around, you need to be there for everyone. So my communication skills are really growing because of this club. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And now how long have you been a part of Kane TV? Since my sophomore year. Sophomore so three year. years. Oh. Excellent. And what job do you want to have after you graduate from Kane University? <laughs> Funny you ask. So if anyone wants to hire me, um, I want to make TV shows, I want to make movies, and I just want to be producing stuff for the rest of my life because that's what makes me happy and that's what I really want. That's a beautiful dream. Well, Beba, thank you so much for stopping by. It's Thanks. been a pleasure. Thanks. Hello, my name is Allison Edgley, and I'm a lecturer at Kane University in the School of Communication, Media, and Journalism. I teach a variety of communication courses, some being critical citizenship and group communication. With my group communication course, I like to promote experiential learning as well as being an advocate in the community. We have developed a variety of fundraisers for various nonprofit organizations. Just recently, we donated to the Red Cross as well as our school's local pantry. Outside of the school, I also like to advocate for my community, and I'm also a life and wellness coach at the YMCA in Union, and as a fitness instructor, I instruct a variety of different fitness uh, courses as well. We host mindfulness and also wellness workshops, just so that way we can become one and partner with the community. 
Thank you for watching. This has been Brad Scott for Senior Year. Now, some closing remarks over at Jonathan's Garden. Believe in yourself, have faith in your abilities, without humble but reasonable confidence in your own powers. You cannot be successful or happy. Be healthy, be well, see you next week. Bye. <laughs>